Hello everybody, Wooden Railway Edward here, and today I will be doing an unboxing video. And the first item that I will be an unboxing in this unboxing series is Ashima. Now, Ashima was seen in The Great Race and in season 22 or 23, I'm not sure of Thomas and Friends. But she's a pretty major character. She was a pretty major character in The Great Race, as you can see. Um, the packaging has Thomas and Ashima. Um, in their CGI format, and uh, yeah, I got this off of Amazon for $11. I thought that was a really good steal, and I had some gift card money, and I just thought, oh, why not? Just buy something on Amazon, because I saw okay deals, and this was one of the cheapest items. In fact, this was the cheapest thing I got. I got three things. I'll show them in later unboxing videos, but this was the cheapest thing I got, and I thought, well, Ashima isn't on the top of my list. She's not even really near the top. She's a newer character. I prefer to get the older characters first. But I thought, why not get it? She's $11, new in box. I might not come across that opportunity again. So let's look at this packaging. As you can see, Ashima is right there. You can see Ashima, the YAL logo right there. I remember when those used to be, those used um, to stick out. And I actually have one of Stanley that I kept. I had a Stanley. You'll see him in my collection video and other videos. But he was he's the older version of Stanley. Um, and yeah, he had like this thing, and you could actually take out the um, like the name sticker. And I thought that was really cool. Here's a picture of Ashima on the back. She looks pretty accurate to the front. Usually, sometimes they look a little weird. But she doesn't look like that there. It says 2015, but I really don't believe that. This, the Great Race came out in 2016. You know, wooden railway companies aren't the best with dates. You know, Learning Curve 2003, Mattel, all their items are labeled 2012. So, you know. But, uh, yeah, let's just unbox her. She looks like she's suffocating a little bit. <laughs> so, I got my trusty, rusty scissors, and we're going to try to... Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, well, I didn't want to damage the box, but I kind of damaged the box. There's a view of the box. It's like this rectangular shape. I find that kind of funny. It's kind of like a box car. Or Toby. I guess like three-wheeled Mavis. Or six-wheeled Mavis, I guess. Sorry. Um, so let's zoom in a tiny bit. And here is Ashima. So, as you can see, there's Ashima's face. She has a little bit of eyeliner on. Very feminine face. And, uh, there you can see right there, there's her, um, decal, or her paint work. Now, she's a very colorful engine. Now, many people, they do not like Ashima. They do not like this one railway model because it's not very detailed. And I'm not okay with that. I just want to get all the one railway models, so I'm not really concerned with how they look. I mean, I won't buy Thomas Wood, don't get me wrong, but, you know. But, I think she's okay. Uh, I even read some of the Amazon comments and some of the angry parents complained about how she doesn't have, she didn't look how she appears on the TV screen. But that's okay. Her magnets are nice and shiny. There you can see her back. She has no detailing. Um, Mattel rounds off the edges, but they don't seem to do that that much on this model. Uh, for a comparison, I'll bring in Thomas, and as you can see, there's a little dent right there. I'm going to zoom out the camera just a little bit. There we go. So, as you can see, Thomas, he has rounded off edges. So, if I hit him, I mean, he has a little bit of damage, but if I dropped him like that, he wouldn't be easily, um, he wouldn't easily, uh, chip, or the paint wouldn't come off. Um, but some of the earlier models, why a lot of them are beat up, is because they were thin layers of paint, and they usually, like, if a kid was playing with them, they might fall off. So, here's Ashima, back to Ashima, she's the, um, point of this unboxing video. As you can see, she has a black boiler, and it kind of carries over just a little bit. She has a, um, a pinkish-purplish coat of paint. Uh, as I said, the details kind of looks like a sun in her cab. That's kind of weird. Her cab de detailing's a little bit weird. She has black wheels. It says Ashima right there. Uh, and 2012, her wheel... Oops, sorry. It won't focus because <laughs> I don't have that good of a camera. But uh, 2012, it says right there. I mean, my camera's okay. 
Uh, she has her dome right there. Has this little hump right there by her cab. And I think it's a really nice model, to be honest. And I'm glad to have her in my collection. And you can find her in my collection video, which I'll post probably May. I don't know. I have a lot of time on my hands with um, COVID-19. So I can... I'm just trying to make it look nice for a thumbnail picture. Uh, uh, you know, I'll post it whenever. But you can de you'll can definitely see her in my collection. Now, about my series. She's not going to be immediately introduced to my series. Now, if you don't know this about me, I'm a pretty big planner. And I plan to have her introduced... I think it's season 11 or 12. I have 20 seasons planned out of episode ideas and episode titles. I'm a little crazy. But, uh, yeah, season 11 or 12, so that's way down the road. Who knows if I even get there. I've only made it to episode 4 or season 1 so far. So, and I started my series in 2018. That's two years. Well, not two years. About a year and a half. It's, it's fun. But, uh, yeah, so she's a really nice engine. She couples up to Thomas, as you see there. I'm glad that I got her. Eleven dollars is a pretty good deal. Who knows when I'll get when I come by the chance to get her again? But yeah, also I would like to mention she is my newest engine, not my newest addition to my collection, but my newest item. So um, in age, so the newest item I have right now is a Timothy from 2014, and this is from 2016. But, as you'll see in one of my upcoming unboxing videos, I'm actually getting an item that is from the last year that the TWR was still a thing. So, stay tuned for that, and this is Wooden Railway Edwards signing off. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.